important win here at Dyke Number Heart for victory as well. Yeah, uh, great win. Um, any win's a great win. Not an easy place to come. A side who um, are under a little bit of uh, pressure at the minute from the from the home fans, but they they never stopped running. Um, Dagenham and Redbridge did this. They, they they gave everything they could to, to try and get something out of the game. I thought for spells we were, were excellent at managing the game. We passed the ball really well at times to, to try and kill, take this thing out of the game and control the game and, and deservedly ended, ended up winning the game. You mentioned passing the ball around and, and creating opportunities. Didn't need to pass the ball around for Luke Young's first half. Six brilliant goals, isn't it? Well, was, um, <clears throat> he's got it. He's got uh, the ability to do that. So is uh, so uh, Summers as well. So I've been asking them to, to shoot, trust yourself, shoot from distance. And I was right behind it. I had the best view in the in the, in the ground for the goal. It was a magnificent strike, um, worthy of winning any game. Um, we just need another one to win this game. But it was a, it was a fantastic goal, and you, you wouldn't see a better goal in, um, in all the internationals being played this weekend. Yeah, you mentioned uh, needing to get a second goal, though, just at this point, where you with conceding about a minute after taking the lead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uncharacteristic because we're, we're so solid normally defensively. And it's, it's one of those things I said at half time. It's gone. It, it's happened. It's gone. I can't do anything about it now. We'll just get on and play the second half. And we went back to being our usual resilient self. Uh, second half, albeit Rob had to make probably one, one or two saves today, which he hasn't really had to do recently. So um, it's um, well, that's what he's in goal for to make a save ultimately. But yeah, we saw the game out fairly comfortably. We just couldn't get the, the, the third goal, which would have killed the game. We had plenty of opportunities to do it. We just we just couldn't get it. He was a little bit of finishing or. Superb defending by by uh, defender who slipped back in and, and cleared one off the line. So um, yeah, it's just that to get the two goal uh, two goal advantage kills the game. It's a game of first really, a first goal for Luke Young, uh, first goal for Luke Summerfield, and also a first penalty of the season. It's funny how it goes. Sixteen games, and you finally get the rub of the ring. Yeah, I've been waiting for a penalty to come. We've had some real soft ones given against us. I'm seeing um, fouls going in. As we're attacking, fouls going in on our players, which we've had penalties given against us, and nothing's getting given. So um, eventually, one of those will drop for us as well. Um, but yeah, pleasing that two midfielders have scored today. You mentioned uh, not being able to get the third, but it must be pleasing the way that you are creating these opportunities, that, that you are getting forward and, and getting those chances for yourselves, even if at times they aren't going in. Yeah, I'd be more concerned if we weren't getting the opportunity. Same as last week, we had to win one 0 last week, but again, could have won the game four or five. And, and, and um, that wouldn't have flattered us. So, yeah, it's nice to be taking, get, uh, sorry, making the opportunities. We have to make sure we're ruthless um, at putting them away. Is wins at places like this and, and the manner in which you win a game, uh, is that maybe the stuff of what a promotion team is all about, to come down here and to get the three points? You have to win when you don't play at your best. We weren't at our best today, we were good. We were good and some parts of our game were, were very good today. Um, but it's all about winning. You can't always win playing the beautiful football. Um, there are times when you have to dig, you have to fight, you have to win your headers, win the second ball. And when a side are scrapping and fighting for their lives like they were and, and they didn't stop trying in all fairness to them, long throws were coming in, everything was coming in the box, you have to stand up and be counted and, and that's what makes a good team. Uh, for a brief period today you were top of the league until late goals from Salford and Harrogate. Is it too early to perhaps look at the sides who may be up there at the end of the season or at least start to challenge already this season? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Um, so you want to be as high up as you can. All I can say is we're 16 games in, um, 34 points, which is um, a magnificent start. We just have to keep building on that, and, and if others can keep winning as well, fair play to them. We just have to make sure that we try and keep winning as well. Yeah, but I guess, as we've mentioned, you have shown the, char the characteristics of a side who will be challenging up there at the end of the season. Um, I hope so, but we are just over a third of the way through the season. An awful long way to go. Um, there's an awful lot got to happen yet. We're still playing 24 degrees today. Yeah. You know, the pitches will turn, the, the weather will change, it, the football becomes slightly different then. Um, and we just have to be able to make sure we can adapt when that comes. Attention now turns away from the league, at least for a couple of weeks. FA Cup next weekend. Is that a welcome break for you? Do you, are you keen on these sort of cup competitions? Yeah, FA Cup, best cup competition in the world, isn't it? Um, what an opportunity to, to try and put a run together and something for the fans, the, the players and the club in general to, to support. We've got a hard draw from Harrogate Way, couldn't get much harder, but we're, um, we'll go there full of confidence um, with a game plan to, to win the game. Three, one, three wins on the bounce isn't a bad way of going into that cup competition, is it? No, not at all. And you know, There's a, a lack of midweek games as well, so we can work on training as well, get physically, mentally um, fresh, but also improve a little bit as well. Um, yeah, we're all looking forward to, to next week's game. Awesome. Cheers, Sam. Cheers, thank you.